leaving the Airbnb. See how big that list is? Got so carried away there. Welcome to my crib. Ready for the grand reveal? Good morning all. It is Monday and today is Get the Keys Day. How exciting. I am just at the gym this morning. It's nine o'clock. So I'm gonna go smash out a session. Really? People just love to park next to me. But yeah, once I'm done with the gym, I'll head home and then dad and I will go pick up the keys. And I think today all we're gonna do is like sort out the internet. Um, but tomorrow will be the big day because I think that's when our shipping container comes. So I will be bringing you guys along for these next few days. I also have a trip to Melbourne in between all this as well. So it's all happening at once. There's so much stuff. <laughs> the mattresses. <laughs> Guys, welcome to my crib. I love it so much. So, so, so much. I'm going to put you down here. I'm out of breath. I'm sick at the moment. Sick as a dog. I'm also wearing the same shirt as yesterday, I'm pretty sure. Ignore that. So, anyway, update. Yesterday was Monday. I went to the gym and then Dad and I went to collect the keys. 50 million keys. Oh, yeah, yesterday we just tried to like measure stuff up because we didn't know like what beds were going to go in what room because I've got the master bedroom and before anyone comes at me and thinks that I would like fight over this room I'm so chill I don't care I really do not mind like what bedroom I have but dad just didn't want to go upstairs and there's a bedroom downstairs so that's why I've got the master no one get any ideas that I kicked up a fuss for this because I could not care less but I love this room so much so I'm really excited to set it up yeah we just had to measure up the rooms a bit and like figure out like the living space and like how we're gonna have the couch and stuff. That was yesterday. It really wasn't that interesting. But today, removalist people came with a container at like 9 in the morning. I went to the gym. <laughs> I would have gotten in the way if I was here. So I just spent the morning doing my own thing. Dad came home for lunch and now we've come to the house and this is my first time seeing the house with everything in it. It feels so weird. Like Dad and I were talking about it last night. Like, it just feels so weird because like I remember all this furniture in our old house and like it feels like it belongs in the old house and it's really weird to know it has traveled as far as we have to come here and now now it's in this new space like I don't know it just it feels like it's a part of the old home like I look at this bed and I'm like this doesn't belong here like this is back at our old place like I don't know it's a really weird concept to like wrap your head around but it feels real now I can talk about that in another video if you guys like maybe even like a Q&A on the transition and stuff and if you guys want to know anything and what life is like up here anyway enough of that um we are gonna spend the afternoon trying to like unpack a little bit so I've got a few boxes around my room I've got some of these that the removalist put in um I think there's like a few bathroom ones as well and then some in my wardrobe I can't get over how big my wardrobe is like are you kidding? I'm going to fill that to the brim. It's just an excuse to buy more clothes. We're just going to spend a few hours unpacking. We're not really in a rush because we have the Airbnb for another week. So it's not like we need to sleep here tonight, which is really good that we've got that overlay. And then tomorrow I go to Melbourne, a fun little weekend, just see family and friends. And then I come back next Monday. And then we've got all of Tuesday in the Airbnb. And during that time, dad will like set up all the beds and stuff like that, make some progress while I'm away. Yeah, spend all of Tuesday in the Airbnb. And then Wednesday we have to move out. And then yeah Wednesday night next week will be our first night sleeping here it's all happening but yeah you guys are all up to date and it's time to unpack and make this home Okay, I don't know how long we've been here for, but this is all the packing I've done. Or unpacking, I should say. I feel like I've done a lot, actually. Or maybe I just have a lot of clothes and a lot of boxes <laughs> to go through. I've got these two boxes I'm going to work on currently. But I was thinking because from my bed, I'll be laying over here. And you can see my wardrobe. I'm laying here. You can see that stuff over there, which is fine. I'll make sure that's neat. But all of that shelving, I just know that's going to end up like a bomb site. So I was thinking maybe I should try and get those like little storage cubes that like slide in and out and I'll like section off my clothes into that so then it's nice and neat. That's my thought. I've got the tape measure so I can do that now. And then I'm thinking my shoes will go up here and then top. I don't know. If I have random stuff that I need to store, I'll probably put it up there. Yeah, this is actually low-key hard unpacking because like I've sectioned it into like active wear, summer, winter, PJs. But I just, I have so much stuff and I don't know if I'm gonna have to like hang more and I'm not like folding it because I just, I want to try and gauge like what I have. But yeah, I think I might try and buy some of those like little storage cubes because it'll keep it really neat, which I like. Because I hate mess, so 
maybe 700 by 350. I'm gonna research for some cubes tonight. Also, I wanna show you guys, I knew I was forgetting to show you something before. I, because I'm an interior designer, I was having a very hard time trying to figure out what to do with my room because I wanna make it look good, obviously. I feel like I've got the pressure of it looking good now. <laughs> so I made this like little collage of the mood I'm wanting for my room. So that's kind of the vibe. I feel like my concept is beige and neutral with the highlight being the pink bed. I don't want any more pink in my room. Just that. The rest of my room is going to be neutral tones. And then with an accent of fine black line. So the fine black stuff will come in with the paintings in my mirror. And then I'll get some baskets for my uh, little TV unit in like black. So that's where the black will feature. And then everything else like my bedding and my pillows and lamps and stuff. I want them like neutral like beige, white, grey kind of thing. That that is what I'm wanting to achieve. Okay, lighting is tragic as per usual, but I'm back from Melbourne. So to connect the dots a bit, I've edited the last video you guys would have seen. I had no idea if I was gonna join that with all of these current like moving videos, but it just would have been way too long. So this one you're watching is gonna be all like decorating and shopping for the new place. And the last one was obviously like getting accepted for the rental. But in this current moment, I've just come back from Melbourne, which I told you guys about. So I got back yesterday midday and in the afternoon we just went to the new house today we're gonna have a massive massive day of going back and forth from the airbnb here and then going to our new place because tomorrow we need to get out of the airbnb because someone else has booked it and yeah this was always when we were going to leave the Airbnb. Um, but we need to pack up everything that we've got here and move it to the new place. And then also just continue unpacking at the new place. So that's what today is going to be. I'm so puffed. I'll give you a little run around of what's happening. Got a few boxes to unpack, but this is my bed. Looks so good. And because my bed is a queen, it just makes the room look massive, which it is. It's a really good size. Also my wardrobe. I haven't touched this since you guys last saw it. I also forgot to mention yesterday afternoon, dad and I had a massive spend up at Adair's. So I'll show you what I got. This is the quilt cover set I got. It's like this textured white. I'm not sure if I'm going to use those pillows on my main pillows, but I also did get this like sandy color as well. I've ordered these in the fitted sheet. They're just getting delivered. So I'll do sheet, pillowcases. I have white European pillows already. And then this quilt cover. And then I've got my pillow. I'll get two more decorative pillows and a nice throw on the end of my bed. packed to the absolute brim i've never seen my car this full before the boot is just like chockers nothing else will fit so yeah i'm gonna head to the new place now i'm leaving the airbnb and i will never see this place again hopefully um and dad's just packing up his car and we'll pack up the dogs and he'll probably be like 10 minutes after me he's just doing like little one percenters now but anyway let's go to the new place how exciting today is officially our moving day how cute's this door stopper from Bunnings? Bambi literally hates it. She thinks it's a toy. So excited to call this home. Ah, it looks so good. Alrighty, it is the next day and I am doing a big, big shop. I am at the plaza. I have a massive list of things I want to get today. Not all of it, but you can just see how big that list is. That's everything I need, but I want to prioritize like my bathroom and my wardrobe because I'm kind of waiting on these like organizational things so then I can like sort out those spaces. I will try and bring you guys along as much as I can, but I will definitely give you a massive haul when I'm done. <laughs> Guys, I just got back from shopping. Look how much I bought. I just got so carried away then. But yeah, let me show you what I got, what I'm going to use it for, and then also where I got it from in case you guys are interested. Uh, this little basket I'm going to use in my bathroom cupboard to just put like all my everyday things in. This was from Target. And then also from Target were these tubs. And I'm going to use those to put shoes in in my shelves up the top. So where my shoes are currently, that's where I'm going to put those little boxes. Those are the things I got from Target. And then Kmart, I got these boxes. I got about 10 of 
of them because I want to put my clothes in there, which, oh my god, are currently on the shelves on that wall. I also got a, like, little shower caddy thing because my shower only has room for a bar of soap. I literally have nowhere to put, like, shampoo and conditioner. Got a toilet roll holder from Kmart. Also a little bin, matte black bin. Oh, and some more clip hangers for pants to hang. And then probably some of my favorite things. This little basket. I'm going to use this as a little laundry basket. So this was from Bed Bath & Table. And then, lucky last, Bed Bath & Table, I got this little holder just to put my, like, toothbrush and toothpaste in. And then a little matching soap dispenser, which I need to buy soap for. But I just love the texture. Okay, I literally nearly forgot to vlog before I had a shower and got unready for the night. But I remembered and I'm going to show you guys what I accomplished this afternoon. It honestly looks so good. I can't wait to show you. Here is my wardrobe. It literally looks 10 times better. Um, I still have storage at the top, which I think I'll probably put like my gym bag and my beach bag and stuff. And probably like suitcases and that. So that will fill up eventually. I'll also quickly show you my bathroom as well. That's what I've done with those i just have like my hair dryer straightener in there and then this is my little basket that i got so i think i'll just pull this out every time i need to like use it and then this other side's just junk i'm so tired i feel like i've smashed out a lot these past two days i don't know what i'll get up to tomorrow if i'm gonna do any more i feel like now things are just gonna gradually fall into place and i'll buy little bits here and there um dad and i also did a big temple and webster order so yeah i will record when that comes but for now i'll just tidy up my room and then let you know when we've got new additions okay the time has come my elbow literally just cracked it went like <laughs> flying out the side okay i'm sweating i just vacuumed my room hence why i'm recording this but i'm like i'm literally working up a sweat and my voice is croaky i don't know why but <laughs> my room is clean and it's pretty much complete there's still some things i need to buy but i thought i'd show you guys what it's looking like at the moment and then when it is completely done then i can do like a little reel on instagram or something but i want to give you guys a little room tour because i'm really proud of it and i love it it's just it's so pretty and just everything i wanted so we're gonna start at the door okay ready for the grand reveal Ta-da! This is my room. This is what you see as soon as you come into my bedroom. Um, but pretty much the bed we already had that is from a store in Melbourne called Kikai, I'm pretty sure. It's in like Dandenong. Um, so that's from a little boutique furniture store. Let me break down everything else. So my lamps are from Beacon Lighting. Bedside tables are from uh, Temple and Webster. They're not really a bedside table. They're just kind of classified as a side table, like unit thing. But I love how it turned out, especially the detail in my lamps. It matches the paneling on the bed and I wanted a bit of like contrast of like natural elements and this is kind of like a like terrazzo stony look and also I didn't realize but it's got like pinky flecks through it and then it just matches even better with my bed so I didn't even realize that when we bought it online but I'm obsessed with how this turned out my bed everything's pretty much from Adairs so my sheets pillow and quilt cover they're from Adairs this fluffy pillow you guys saw that's from bed bath and table these pink ones are from Adairs they're really good to karate chop they're actually the best decorative pillows um and then these European pillows I already had them and those are my old covers so I can't really remember where they're from so yeah that is my bed. I love it. Also, hot tip, if you guys want to know how to roll this and make it look fluffy, obviously have a fluffy quilt in there. Don't have like a flat, heavy one. Something light and fluffy. You fold it over like this and then you do it again. And that's how you get that like nice display home look. Anyway, continuing on, this mirror, which you've probably seen in literally every Instagram and YouTuber's content. <laughs> That is from Temple and Webster. It's just amazing. I always wanted a full length mirror in my room. So she's ticking boxes. Anyway, continuing on. This corner still isn't complete. I want to try and get like a little pot and like a fake plant, obviously. If it was real, I'd probably kill it. And I don't know if I would need like maybe a little rug underneath it to kind of like fill that a bit more. But this is my little vision board that I made up. Made a little TikTok on it. So go check that out if you want to see how I made it. But that's my vision board if you're wondering like what that is. And then the bathroom's in there, which you guys have seen. And then this is my TV. Unit. The unit is from Temple and Webster as well. And if you guys are wondering, they ship really quick. The quality, obviously you get what you pay for. Um, so it's pretty good considering it's not too like cheap and nasty, but it's not like 
sturdy as. That's my TV unit. I want to get a basket just for like maybe blankets and stuff and to cover the wires there. Still don't know what I'm doing with the books. I need to kind of make that look nicer. I might buy some little decorative things and like dried flowers or something. Yeah. This is nowhere near finished, so ignore that. That looks very amateur of me. But yeah, I've just got my diffuser and some crystals and a candle. And then my wardrobe, which you guys have seen, I already broke down where I bought everything in there. So she's still looking neat. I'm impressed and I'm proud I've kept it that neat. And yeah, and then I, oh, I'm not sure. I might put like a little foot rug here. Maybe, I just feel like I need to cover the ground a little bit more and like add something. But maybe when this corner is done, then it'll look a bit more complete. And then this side won't look as bare. I don't know. That's my room. I love how it turned out. I feel like I definitely achieved what I was wanting. But anyway, I feel like this video is long enough, so I'm going to wrap it up here. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and also enjoyed the moving series because I'm pretty sure this will probably be my last video. It's not necessary to keep going. This this is it. This is home for now. But I will definitely continue some of the weekly vlogs, daily vlogs. Also, if you guys want a Q&A on like moving house, tips questions all that type of stuff i'll probably film one of those as well because it was a massive learning experience so i'm sure other people would be in the same boat and like want to know what we learned throughout the way so i will definitely be up to date with all the content but please comment below what you guys want to see again thank you for watching the series if you watched every single video bless your soul you're probably sick of me by now but thank you so much i genuinely appreciate it like you would not believe so thank you for that but yeah gonna wrap up this video i hope you've enjoyed go like subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video whatever that may be <laughs>